welcome to the light side of the paranormal. I'm Alice. I'm Jenna. And today I'm going to be sharing with Jenna a scary story that one of my clients gave me permission to relay to you guys and to her. She has never heard this story before, so her reaction will be 100% genuine. And it's so absolutely scary. <laughs> this is one of my favorite paranormal stories I've ever heard from someone. Really? Ever. Oh, I'm excited now. Yeah. <laughs> I should start by saying that the woman that told me this story, she was like between the age of like 57 and 65. <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> like, um, so by, by saying this, I just mean that like, this was like a mature woman who didn't seem to be just like telling scary stories. Right. I felt like I believed her. Okay. She's amazing. I love her. And her name, we're going to call her Kendra. Okay. I love how you come up with these, like, names. <laughs> it's like when you play Barbies. Her name is going to be <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> okay, like, half of the fun of playing with Barbies is naming yeah, them. Yeah. I loved that. I lived for that. So now I get to name you guys. <laughs> my, my Barbies. My spooky Barbie. <laughs> so my client, Kendra, she was telling me about um, when she and her parents, when she was younger, she and her parents moved into this rental home, okay? Uh, in kind of like an older neighborhood, like the houses were older, not the people. <laughs> in a retirement community. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she, she was saying that Almost immediately upon moving in, like weird things were happening. Her father was a huge skeptic, and ironically, most of the occurrences happened to him. So in my opinion, it was almost like they were trying to prove like, hey, pay attention, like this yeah. is the real deal, like you need to pay attention to this. Right. Um, so at first it just started with little things, like toys being put out of place, or um, wrestling around in the attic, you know, like yeah. just little things that could have been explained out of being a paranormal thing until <laughs> things took a turn. So her mother started being woken up nightly by a man who looked a lot like their landlord standing over <laughs> their stop. bed. I know, I know. Just <laughs> bear with me here. This sounds like something else. <laughs> it was paranormal. <laughs> so he, he looked like their landlord, but a younger version of him. So she'd be startled and woken up every single night with this man just standing over her. And at first when she was explaining the story to me, I immediately was like, hat man. Right. Until she explained that it wasn't a shadow person, it was just someone that looked like her landlord, but younger. <laughs> I know, it sounds intense, but bear with me here. They were, they were realizing that their stairwell to go from the main floor to the upstairs of the home, which is not located on an exterior wall, it's like close to the center of the home, there was always this one step on the stairs that was ice cold all the time. And they couldn't figure out why it was so cold all the time. Like they even tried putting down like like blankets and things on the stairs because the kids would complain that their feet were getting cold and oh yeah, she had a sister. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, so that that was weird and mentionable. <laughs> and then there was one day the mom and the girls went out to do some shopping and their dad was working nights so he decided to stay home and try and take a nap to get caught up on some sleep. So he was napping and, you know, laying on his side and opened his eyes. Guys, this is literally like a movie. He opened his eyes to see an old woman laying beside him on the bed. Like face to face with her. Yeah, like face to face with her. Okay. And like to, to show how real this was, he was so scared that he jolted up and knocked his arm against the wall, which completely cracked through the drywall. And that mark on the drywall was there until they moved out. Wow. Yeah. Um, and he 
he was so flustered he just ran outside and was sat on the the front porch and would just chain smoked until they got home <laughs> yeah <laughs> like explain that i don't know we're later going to connect some dots but that was one of the dots that we just cannot connect um, between kendra and myself we weren't able to figure out who that old lady was but okay. We'll, we'll talk about that part later. Kendra also described that there was just this heavy feeling of constant sadness in the home. And it wasn't anything bad that was happening to the family that was living there. It was just this vibe in the home that was just sad and heavy, which was not nice. There was also a man, like a, a male voice, that would yell at the children all the time. Like, get out of here! You don't, you don't belong in here! Like, things like that. Like very like didn't want them in the house at all and was targeting the children all of these things were happening constantly to the point that they finally as a family decided that they were going to move out they needed to get out of there so they gave their landlord their notice and it wasn't like hey here's my two months notice it was hey we're leaving tomorrow so just so you know we need to get out of here when in doubt move out yeah yeah remember that one kids <laughs> They found it odd that the landlord didn't seem surprised that they were giving notice so quickly. And then they started packing up their belongings and moving them into the truck. And as they were in and out of the house, one of the neighbors, who they had never met, came out to talk to them. Okay. And this is where things get weird. Weirder, yeah. <laughs> if you can believe it. Oh, I should also mention that all of this happened within the span of one month. Oh, wow. Yes. That's a lot of, okay. <laughs> like, all, like constant, she said it was constant, all these things. So the neighbor says, I see you guys are moving out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Most people don't last four months in there with all the hauntings going on. And they go, well, what are you talking about hauntings? And the neighbor goes, don't you know? The landlord's brother hung himself in there. Ah, there you go. In the stairwell. Ah. Oh. Chill. <laughs> I love that moment where you're like, that's why this and that, da, 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 and you're like, Whoa. Yeah, like it just connects so much dots and it just yeah. feels so good to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, that was awesome. Um, well, not awesome that he hung himself, like no. awesome to connect the dots, yeah. yes. The reason that the man that was waking her up looked like the landlord is because it was the this landlord's brother. younger brother. Yeah, right. and then the stairs thing, but we just can't seem to connect the old lady mm. to it. I'm thinking maybe it's the mother, like the landlord's mother that had passed away. Maybe she wanted to be with her son that passed away. Yeah. I would like to know how sure he was, how sure he was that it was a woman. Right. How old did she look? Was it the brother like old and decaying or something? Right. Yeah, that's true. But you could, someone who looks like that, you could easily mistake the gender, you know? That's true. Like once, once you reach a certain level of... Yeah, I, w I just wonder, like... Who knows? I know. But, here's something strange. So, at, shortly after they moved out, they didn't know if the landlord had ever filled the unit with more tenants again, but they did hear that the house burned down. Oh, wow. And we don't know why. We find that very, very weird. And she told me that sometime she would love to take us to oh, the site. Oh, is it in site. town? It's in town. She oh. would love to take us to the site because there's still like rubble and like burnt pieces of house. Is. And we could do a spirit box session there. So oh, if you guys want us to do a spirit box session, comment that down below because we would love to connect some more dots. Imagine yeah. like, especially now that we know who to reach out to. Yeah, and their situation. Yeah, like we're calling out to the brother. Like, yeah. isn't that Good so story. cool? Definitely one of my favorite paranormal stories ever. Yeah, for sure. That's I I loved it, and I love that she was able to like say, "Here's a bunch of weird stuff, and here's why." You know, yes. like I love that feeling. Oh, the validation is. I live for that. Yes, it's it's important, and it feels good. Yeah. Thanks for joining us for another one of the 31 days of Halloween. <laughs> and we're getting up there. We're almost done now. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been enjoying this? Have yeah. you been loving tuning in all month with us? Yeah. For everyone keeping up with us, props to you because it's a lot of, um, it's 
a lot of YouTube watching. <laughs> and you're a true fan then, I'm sure. Um, but for everybody else, you have plenty of videos now to peruse on your own time when you should feel like you need a little spook in your life. And to catch up on. Yeah. Yeah, like it's sort of like binging an entire season on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so make sure to give this video <laughs> a big like if you liked listening to this spooky story. And please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified every time that we are uploading spooky content and we don't just do the spooky we've been very spooky for this month because it is the spooky month <laughs> but we do we do do the, <laughs> do do the enchanted and the spiritual and we will be getting a little bit more into the spiritual stuff um the lighter side <laughs> in the, um, the next month or two to come so yeah, yeah. And, and like jenna was saying like we, even though in October we're going to be posting every single day, moving forward after October we will be still uploading weekly, mm -hmm. so um, you should definitely subscribe so that you can keep up with us after October too. Always remember to live your life with love and light. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. And your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> <laughs>